What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We've had transfer deadline day. There's still going to be quite a bit of fallout on this over the next 24 hours or so. So we'll more than likely be back with another transfer update tomorrow. So if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Manchester City transfer happenings as well as daily Manchester City transfer updates for you guys to look forward to throughout the summer transfer window where I'm expecting Manchester City to be pretty busy, then do make sure you have subscribed. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on Aiming now for 25,000 subscribers. We've passed 22k subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video once more. Aiming for 300 likes and also don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. There's a lot to get through so strap yourselves in and let's go let's start first with the contract news we've got an update on James McAtee the Telegraph they're saying that positive talks have taken place between Manchester City and James McAtee over a new contract that's good of course James McAtee's contract is up in June of 2023 and it is of the highest priority for Manchester City to get his contract sorted and get him tied down to a new long-term deal so that's the first bit of positive news we've had with regards to that if I'm honest so that is good news now moving on to the outs we've got an update on Luka Illich he has left Manchester City and he has joined CFG side Estac Troy over in France. He joins on a permanent basis on a two and a half year contract. I presume that no fee has been paid so I do want to wish the best of luck to Luca on his move and in France. I hope he does go and smash it. Now moving on we've got an update on Ike Pozzo. At the time of me recording this he is set to join HNK Rijeka in Croatia on loan until the end of the season. That is according to Stuart Brennan at the MEN. Once that is made official, I will tell you guys, and I'm hoping that will be for tomorrow's video. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Luke Bolton. It's come via, uh, via Peter O'Rourke. Now, he says that Luke Bolton, he is set to join Salford City on a permanent basis. Now, Mike Minet uh, over at the BBC had said that he was set to join a League Two side. And it is believed to be Salford City that the club that Luke Bolton is close to joining. But again, waiting for official confirmation at the time of me recording this. Uh, by the time this is uh, edited and distributed out to you guys, these may already be official. So easiest way to stay up to date. I'm retweeting all kinds of sources with all kinds of confirmations of deals. So do go and follow me on Twitter. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Cameron Gabadibo. That's an amazing name. He has joined Colchester United, though, on a permanent basis. It is on a short-term contract, so I do want to wish the best of luck to Cameron on the move and for the future, wishing him all of the best. Now, we've also got an update on Philip Sandler. Now, according to D-Telegraph uh, in the Netherlands, they say that Feyenoord and Manchester City, they're close to an agreement on loan. He's set for a medical, and Manchester City have given him permission to go and have that medical whilst Manchester City sort out the details with regards to recall calling him from his loan at Estac Troy over in France. Manchester City apparently are looking to try and include a buyback option should Feyenoord make the move permanent as Philip Sandler's contract is up in the summer. That's what City are trying to get sorted and so I presume on that basis that City will not be renewing Philip Sandler's contract and he will be out of contract at Manchester City in the summer. Now moving on we've got an update on Matt Smith. This came out of nowhere on deadline day. The Daily Mail said that Manchester City and MK Dons have been discussing a permanent transfer for regards for Matt Smith and then Martin Blackburn at the Sun had said uh, that it will be a small fee paid by Milton Keynes Dons which could rise up to half a million pounds if all the add-ons are met and he is a success over in Milton Keynes again just waiting for official confirmation on that one and then at the time of him recording this one not got uh, much more details on it than this but TalkSport have said that Manchester City are in the middle of recalling Morgan Rogers from his loan at AFC Bournemouth and he will be loaned back out Huddersfield Town were believed to be closing in on him however that deal has collapsed that's according to Stephen Chicken 
again, another amazing name. We're coming out with some amazing names in this video. Uh, but he's a journalist that works closely with Huddersfield, and he says that's collapsed. So I don't really know what's going to happen to Morgan Rogers. I've not had official confirmation that he's been recalled from his loan at AFC Bournemouth. But again, like I said, tomorrow I'll keep you up to date with all the happenings, or just go and follow me on Twitter and I'll retweet the sources. Now, moving on to the end, we've got an update on Zalan Vanksker. All the latest on him, his uh, deal that's all sorted, it's completed. He has moved to the CFG. It's not a signing for Manchester City, it's a signing for the CFG. He will sign for Lommel SK in the summer. He will stay out on loan at MTK Budapest until the end of the season. I find that very interesting that he is a player of the CFG and it would explain why he was in Manchester having his medical. He's a player for the CFG rather than just for Lommel or for Manchester City. So we'll see what happens there. But welcome Zalan. Hope he has a fantastic time here at the City Football Group. Now moving on, Denis Zakaria. He's had his medical at Juventus contract. It's until 2026. He signs for Juventus uh, for a deal worth 5 million euros plus 3 million euros in add-ons as well. That's according to Fabrizio Romano. City have been getting linked with Denis Zakaria, but it's seemingly looking like in terms of our Fernandinho replacement, Denis Zakaria, he is off the table. Now, very interesting this one on deadline day. Darwin Nunes got the latest on him. Man City have been getting linked with him now for the past few months. And West Ham wanted to sign him on transfer deadline day. They even made an offer to Benfica to try and sign him. But Sky Sports News have said that Benfica, they have rejected that bid. Uh, so he does remain a contingency for Manchester City should we need one for Erling Haaland. Now, moving on, we've got all the latest on Julian Alvarez. Martin Blackburn had said at the Sun that he would become a Manchester City player on his 22nd birthday happy birthday by the way to Julian uh, and he joined Manchester City on transfer deadline day and it's official and that was confirmed he has signed for Manchester City on a five and a half year contract he stays on loan at River Plate until at least 2022 the summer in July then Manchester City's word very interesting at least until July 2022 so this summer um the at least there is where what he's put in bold and highlighting there. Uh, so I wonder if he's going to stay with River Plate past that date. I presume there's some kind of option in there, and I presume that more details will come out of this deal in the coming days. But he signs for Manchester City for a fee of around 17 million euros, which is around 14 million pounds. I do want him to wish uh, Julian the very best of luck at Manchester City. A big warm welcome. Hope he smashes it and hope he has a great time here at Manchester City when we do eventually see him in a Manchester City shirt. I have done my welcome video, which is already up on my channel if you want to go and check that out, covering what Julian Alvarez can bring to Manchester City. Now, Erling Haaland and the latest on him. Now, Kylian Mbappe, according to Bild, he has apparently signed a pre-contract agreement with Real Madrid. He'll sign for them for free. They won't pay a penny to PSG. However, interestingly, they say in terms of his wages, Mbappe is going to be on 50 million euros per year. That is a whopping amount of money. And Bild, uh, they've been reporting this, they've said that Haaland to Real Madrid, because the wages are so expensive with Mbappe, now makes Haaland to Real Madrid complicated uh, this summer due to Mbappe's wages and restrictions from La Liga and potential financial fair play as well. And it's believed that Real Madrid have told Erling Haaland wait until the summer of 2023 rather than the summer of 2022. That's if Madrid cannot get this transfer sorted and for the first time it's looking more complicated than ever and I presume that's going to be because Real is going to have one look and say Mbappe is on 50 million euros per year I want Haaland on the same deal and it's just not going to happen uh, and it, that will of course price Manchester City out of the move as well so we'll have to see but what I will say is if City do want to sign Erling Haaland now is a very good time to go and make that happen with a transfer window now shut. We can get him on a pre-agreement to agree a fee with Dortmund where we can meet his release clause, £65 million. We could get in contact with Dortmund today and say that's the plan, that's what we're going to do. We could even say here's all the money if they wanted to and say you can have it released on what, July 1st? Haaland becomes a City player and we get all the agreements put in place. But City needs to act quick if they want Haaland, in my opinion. That's the only way we sign him. And I've got a feeling his agent and his representatives, they'll drum up interest from everywhere and try and get Haaland the best deal to try and get him to go to the club that's probably willing to pay him the most money. But they are saying that they're going to consider 
all aspects, coaching, uh, as well as the facilities, where Holland can meet his potential, where he can become one of, if not the best player in the world, are going to weigh all that up and uh, assess where that move is going to be. So it's not all going to be financial uh, motivated. However, of course, with Rayola involved, I'd always be weary with regards to that. So there we go. That has been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Aiming for 300 likes. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you made of these transfers as well. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. Very close now to 22.1k subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. But that is the January transfer window. All done and dusted for you guys like I said I will have another transfer video out for you guys tomorrow more than likely this will drag over the next 48 hours and there'll be another one out on Wednesday for you guys to uh, look forward to as well so we'll see we'll see what the uh, latest is with regards to this this could uh, drag on for a little while you never know uh, but daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the January transfer window all done and dusted for another year We'll be back in the summer with daily Manchester City transfer updates, keeping you up to date. And Erling Haaland may just be the name to keep an eye out for with the big saga of the summer. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.